welcome back to my channel. Love Lauren here and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Happy New Year to all you wonderful, beautiful people out there in the community. 2022 was an awesome year thanks to all of you guys. So thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Looking back on 2022, some of my favorite movies that I watched were definitely Alien and Aliens. I was so inspired after watching those movies. I was so inspired by Ellen Ripley that I ended up doing an Ellen Ripley cosplay, which is one of my favorite videos. Videos. If you guys haven't seen that, you should definitely check it out. I actually have her pulse rifle right here and the shoes. Some of the other movies that I really loved from 2022 were The Thing, Predator, Predator 2, Terminator, Terminator 2, and Robocop, just to name a few. Those movies were so freaking epic and I loved them so much. Now I told you guys I was going to start watching some superhero movies in 2023 so I figured what better way to kick off the new year than by watching Superman from 1978. Now I don't really know a ton about Superman. I know a little bit about him through pop culture references like I know that he's super strong. I know that he can fly and I know that his weakness is kryptonite. Um, but other than that, I don't really know much about Superman and his story, so I'm really excited to start learning more about him and hopefully maybe even reading some Superman comic books. You guys know I've been getting into comic books lately. Maybe I can pick up a Superman comic book after I watch some of these movies. So I'm really excited to be watching Superman 1978 today, and I hope you guys are too. So grab your chicky nuggies, grab your chalky milk, and let's jump in. All right, I'm gonna be wearing my glasses for this one. Honestly, my contacts have been murdering my eyes lately. Like they feel like sandpaper in my eyeballs sometimes. It is the most uncomfortable feeling. I can't wear contacts for more than like an hour anymore without them hurting my eyes. So I'm wearing glasses for this one. June, 1938. Action comics, oh, I love that. An old comic book, very cool. The Daily Planet. Reputation for clarity and truth had become a symbol of hope for the city of Metropolis. Metropolis. <laughs> what a cool intro. Oh my gosh, love that. With the epic music and everything. Wow. Superman. The music is kind of giving me like Star Wars vibes a little bit. Maybe it's John Williams. music by john williams okay i thought the music kind of had that john williams vibe it sounds really good it's just epic john williams does epic music it looks like ice almost i wonder if they shot this this shot right here with like a miniature model i ask you now to pronounce judgment on those accused oh look he's got a superman like symbol on his chest general zod charged with maintaining the defense of the planet Krypton. He looks familiar. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I recognize him from, though. The decision of the council will now be heard. Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. Oh, that sucks. You will bow down before me! Both you, and then one day, your ass! Oh, well, they all look very scared. What just happened to them? Wow, are they like trapped in that now for eternity? Just flying out in space? Oh my gosh. Look at their outfits. They are so bright. Almost hurts my eyeballs. I feel like I need sunglasses right now, looking at their suits. This planet will explode within 30 days, if not sooner. Any attempt by you to create a climate of fear and panic must be deemed by us an act of insurrection. It has now become a crime to cherish life. Yeah, it seems like he's trying to save these people because the planet is gonna fall apart or be destroyed or something. Neither I nor my wife leave Krypton. Well, they're all wearing like different symbols on their suits. Interesting. Ah, uh, look at the little Chiboli. If he remains here with us, he will die as surely as we will. 
These are Superman's parents. They are indisputable. We'll sustain him. Is that baby Superman? Aww. We gonna send him to Earth? Aww. So because their planet is gonna get destroyed, they're sending their child to Earth so that he survives. I wonder, so like, why are they staying behind though? Just because, I guess because of what those other people were saying? Or why they can't just escape with, with him, with their child? It's like everything's already starting to fall apart. It's like getting, it's like getting destroyed by that star. It's like a sun or something that's nearby. Oh my gosh, I thought he said 30 days. It seems like this happened really fast. Yeah, they didn't seem to believe him when he said that the planet was gonna get destroyed. Dang. Oh, I wish he, I wish they could have left with him. Like, left, gone as a family. what now so they all just have to stay there and die god damn and it just exploded just like that it was chaos there's people flying flying all over the place people getting crushed and then the whole planet just like exploded oh my god accumulation of all literature he's just flying through space we Oh, look, he's growing up already. He went from like an infant to like a toddler. It is forbidden for you to interfere with human history. I guess because of how much time it's taken him to get to the, the amount of time that he's been traveling through space, he's like grown older already. What was that? Came crashing down like a meteor from out of space. <laughs> Ollie, poor little thing. <laughs> the smile on his face. <laughs> wow, he's like he's just he just landed on Earth, straight up toddler. This we see and how I prayed and prayed that the <sighs> Lord see fit to give us a child. Wow, and they didn't think that's weird at all. Head in the middle of like all that wreckage, just crashing in from outer space. There's just this kid there. Martha, Clark, Kent, are you listening to what I'm saying? Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> Definitely not a normal kid. <laughs> now they're double thinking about like, where did this kid come from? And hold up this whole truck on his own. Look at that look at his face. We the same. that don't bother with these huh i'll take them in with the other equipment thank you clark so is this him as a teenager now wow play some records would you like to come sounds like it'd be a lot of fun oh ken can't make it they got a lot of work to do what are you talking about i just been stacking all this all that oh come on he's got to clean right, this bye, clark. why is it his job to clean all that up exactly oh Imagine if all of them had just picked up their own gear and put it away, then it would have gotten put away so much faster and then Clark could have gone with them, but... He launched that thing so far! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn, running faster than that train! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ooh! That was really close. <laughs> well, he doesn't seem to be, like, necessarily trying to hide that he's, like, he, he has these superpowers. He can run super fast and has super strength. Oh, he got there so fast. How'd you get here so fast? I ran. <laughs> he didn't want to be friends with them anyways. 
seem like a bunch of jerks. Yeah, I know. You can do all these amazing things, and sometimes you think that you will just go bust. Is it showing off and somebody's doing the things he's capable of doing? We thought that people would come and take you away because when they found out, you know the things you could do? And there's one thing I do know, son, and that is you are here for a reason. Yeah, I feel like I would be afraid if I were his parents. I would be afraid that like people might try to weaponize him. What's happening? Oh my God, he just collapsed. What just happened? Jonathan! Aww. I hope he's okay. Dang. Just had this like meaningful conversation with his dad, and then he just collapsed. Aww. Dang, he didn't make it. Eh. Aww. Dang, that happened so suddenly. Those things I can do, all those powers, and I couldn't even save him. Damn, that's really sad. The eyeball in the barn. Oh, that's the green looking stone that his dad put on. I don't even know what you call it. What he was traveling through space in. Like his dad sent that with him, didn't he? <laughs> I love the box of Cheerios right there. <laughs> totally sponsored. <laughs> Wonder how much Cheerios paid to get their box of cereal in this movie. I have to leave. I knew this time would come. We both knew it. He's leaving? Know where you're headed? North. Aww. Always remember. He just lost his dad and she lost her husband and now he's just gonna leave? And she's gotta mourn all alone. They both are gonna be mourning alone. Wow, he meant like, when he said up north, he meant like <laughs> way up north. <laughs> oh, that's why he left, because of the stone? It was glowing? It must mean something if it's glowing. What is going on right now? Damn, all because of that little green stone that he threw? That thing just like popped up? It looks just like... Like, uh... The planet he came from, almost. Like Krypton. Yeah, whoa, it's like a little mini Krypton. That is so cool. It's his dad. Don't remember me, I'm your father. There are questions to be asked. We shall try to find the answers together. A lot to process. Who am I? You are the only survivor of the planet Krypton. You have great powers, only some of which you have as yet discovered. The total accumulation of all knowledge spanning the 28 known galaxies. Jeez, this is a lot to process. Can you imagine being him and hearing all of this for the first time? dad give him the superman outfit too wow i can't imagine being him and like on his 18th birthday getting all this information about where you came from and like hearing your dad talking to you for the first time that'd be really wild what are you writing miss lane l spring how do you spell master m-a-s-s-a-c-r-e a-c-r-e wow how you doing jimmy olsen and him all grown up Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at him. Yeah, acting like he couldn't open that bottle. Perhaps you could arrange for half my salary to be, to be sent to this address on a weekly basis. He sends a check every week to his sweet gray haired old mother. Actually, she's silver haired. <laughs> Any more at home like you? Uh, not really, no. I didn't think so. 
That is so sweet. He sends his mom half his paycheck every week. Aw. Hi, Lois. How'd you like your first day on the job? Huh? Gosh, on the whole, I'd say it's been swell. Swell? Yeah. There are very few people left in the world who feel comfortable saying that word. Swell? Huh? Come here. <gasps> come on, come on, come on. Get, come on, come on. Huh? Get in here, quick. Are they getting mugged right now? You can't solve uh, society's problems with a gun. <laughs> you know something, buddy? You're right. I'm gonna turn over a new leaf. Uh-huh. <laughs> right after I rip off this lady's purse. <laughs> Did he just catch that bullet? I guess I must have fainted. Fainted? You fainted. He's playing it cool. He's playing it cool. He totally caught that bullet, didn't he? Oh my god. What? <gasps> wow. Supposing that man has shot you. I mean, is it worth risking your life over $10, two credit cards, a hairbrush, and a lipstick? How did you know that? You know what? Everything she has in her purse? You just described the exact contents of my purse. Um, X ray vision? A wild guess. Where is this guy going? Wow, sneaky! He just, wow. Who is this guy they're going after? They said his name was Lex, Lex Luther. Like a secret passageway. toast oh yeah he should be splattered all over those tracks right now how do you choose to congratulate the greatest criminal mind of our time you tell me that i'm brilliant so he's he's definitely a bad guy we are about to be involved in the greatest real estate swindle of all time that's kind of wild that he has this like layer underneath uh the uh, train station right look Pulitzer Prize winner. What do you bet? There's no Z in Brazil. <laughs> she's not great at spelling, is she? She didn't know how to spell massacre for a reporter. She's she's not great at spelling. Oh, hi, Clark. Good night. Uh, here, let me uh, carry that for you. Keeps trying to get her attention, and she's just, like, not having it. Well, so I was wondering if maybe you'd like to have a little dinner with me. Oh, gosh, Clark, I'm sorry. I'm booked. Aw. He seems interested in, in Lois, but she's just kind of not really giving him the time of day. Oh, uh, can I uh, take you to the airport? Not unless you can fly. <laughs> Funny she should say that. Dang, poor guy. I feel like he's treated like a doormat. People just walking all over him. Would you be a pet mail that for me, thanks. Oh, sure. Uh... Aww. Would you be a pet and mail that for me? Aww. <laughs> Damn. You gotta admire him for trying. Damn. Poor guy. Yeah, I feel like people just treat him like a doormat. He seems so timid too, doesn't he? Like anxious and timid. Oh, that is so dangerous. Oh my God. Damn, they lost control of that helicopter so fast. Oh. Door just fall open. Oh my god. Don't don't unbuckle your seat. Oh my god, she did not just unbuckle herself. What is she doing? What is she doing? I'm trying to figure out why she unbuckled herself because she, she she thought she could get out. I, I what? I feel like she's making it worse by wiggling around and oh god. Oh my god. If she had just stayed in her seat with her seatbelt on and waited for help, I feel like this would not be happening right now. <laughs> oh man. And Clark's gonna, yep. There he goes. He's like, wait a second, I recognize this hat. <laughs> I can't believe she... I feel like she did that to herself. Oh, he's got a Superman outfit underneath. Wow. Excuse me. Wow, the effects of him flying through the air look
look really good. I'm actually pretty impressed. incident hasn't put you off buying this she she shook who are you a friend <sighs> wow he meant that oh i mean he really is one of her friends <laughs> she just passes out <laughs> she's so shook by the whole ordeal wow look at him flying around oh my gosh that looks so good What is this guy up to? Oh! <laughs> Stand on the side of the building! Hi there. Nothing wrong with the elevator? <laughs> <laughs> Going down. Good evening, Officer Mooney. Well, they say confession's good for the soul. I'd listen to this man. Take him away. Wow, he's like a totally different person as Superman, isn't he? <laughs> Superman gonna swoop in to save the day. <laughs> he's like, you think you got away, but you you didn't. Oh! <laughs> First bottles on me. Let me get my hat. <laughs> that guy didn't believe him either. He's like, there's no way. I, I don't believe you. Look him flying around. Wow, that looks really good. Hey, Bridget, can you come down from there? I'm actually, I'm pretty impressed with these effects with him flying through the air for like the 70s. I feel like this was amazing, right? He flies so gracefully too, look at him. <laughs> it's so graceful. He doesn't like take off and go super fast. He just like kind of drifts off into the sky. Oh, I just got struck by lightning. Oh my gosh, what are the odds? Dang, they lost a whole engine. Superman! Look at him. Such a nice dude, huh? Totally shocked, waving at him like, "Hey!" <laughs> what the hell's going on out there? Don't look, just fly. There's a man out there flying. <laughs> Aww. Dang, he's got a pool down there and everything. Just coming here to put prop at this particular time. Kind of a cruel justice. Maybe this guy that flies is just sort of passing through, you know? Got his robe all wet. The next time, put my robe on after I'm out of the pool. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like, he just handed it to him while the robe was, like, soaking wet. I want the inside dope on this guy. What is the S? Night at eight, your place. Hopefully a friend. Friend? Well, Lois definitely seems like she's got a crush on Superman. Which is funny because she doesn't pay any attention to Clark Kent, but Superman, it's a different story. Good evening, Miss Lane. Oh, I'm sorry, did you have plans this evening? Oh, this whole thing, no. Well, listen, it's no trouble at all for no. you to come back later. Don't move! Don't fly away, all right? You know, there must be a lot of questions about me that people in the world would like of, to know the answer. Of course. Uh, you really shouldn't smoke, you know, Miss Lane. Don't tell me, lung cancer, right? Not yet, thank goodness. Oh, <laughs> he just x-rayed, just, just looked, looked through and saw her lungs. That was pretty cool. Did you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I don't, but uh, if I did, Miss Lane, you'd be the first to know about it. I can't believe she doesn't recognize him. Um, how old are you? Over 21. And how big are you? How tall are you? Uh, about 6'4". <laughs> I was like, what kind of question is that? What is she asking? I assume then that the, the rest of your bodily functions are normal? Sorry, I beg your pardon? Well, putting it delicately, do you eat? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I do. Of course you do. <laughs> well, well then... This is so awkward. See through anything. Uh, yes, I can. What color underwear am I wearing? 
I'm sorry I embarrassed you, didn't I? Oh, no. Oh, you see, I, uh, I sort of have a problem seeing through lead. Can't see through lead, all right. What do you mean, like, uh, Ralph or something? No, no, I mean, like, uh... Pink. Huh? Pink. Oh, <laughs> my God. Sorry, Miss Lane. I didn't mean to embarrass you. Oh, <laughs> you didn't embarrass me. What's your background? Uh, where do you hail from? Another galaxy, as a matter of fact. I'm from a planet called Krypton. Huh? Oh, Krypton! <laughs> She's acting like she knows where that is. Oh, I've heard of that, Krypton! K-R-Y... Do you like pink? I like pink very much, Lois. This is some of the most awkward flirting I've ever seen. Just how fast do you fly? Oh, I don't know, really. No, never actually, uh, you know, bothered to time myself. Why don't we find out? Take a ride with me? You mean I can fly? <laughs> well, actually, uh, I'd be handling the flying if that's okay. I'd be like, all right, let's do it! <laughs> Clark said that you're just a figment of somebody's imagination. Who's that, your boyfriend? Clark? Oh, Clark. No, he's nothing. He's just a... Peter he's... Pan, huh? Uh-huh. She said he's nothing. <gasps> That'd be pretty cool. She's flying around with Superman, no big deal. <laughs> I'm flying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't really like Lois. I don't know about you guys, but I I'm not a super huge fan of her. Just because of how she treats Clark, I, I don't like that. But of course she loves Superman. Whatever. Let go. Let go, Superman. Just let it drop. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. This feels like a Peter Pan moment right here. <laughs> What's going to happen if he lets go? So as long as she's hanging on to Superman, she can basically fly. You can see right through me. I don't know. I feel like the only reason she likes him is because he's Superman and he's has these superpowers which which are super cool. You and I could belong to each other. Oh, we forgot to time ourselves. Maybe next time. Oh. She's so mesmerized, and she doesn't even notice that it's Clark. Oh, good eye. If she paid even a little bit attention to Clark Kent, she would know that it's the same guy. But she doesn't care. She's too mesmerized by Superman. Uh, oh, he got there Batman? so fast. Look, she doesn't notice. It's the same guy. Look at that. You see how he changed his posture? He went from like this as as Clark Kent to oh, Superman. There's something I have to tell you. I'm really uh, I mean I I was uh, at first. I'm still surprised that she she can't see that it's the same person. It's too good to be true. He's 6 foot 4, has black hair, blue eyes. Like she got up close and personal with Superman enough to see his facial structure it just goes to show that she doesn't pay any attention to Clark Kent because if she paid any attention she would see that it, they have the same face anyone from the planet Krypton this substance is lethal but this stuff here will kill, kill him, him. Oh. Oh. doesn't it give you a kind of a shudder electricity through you to be in the same room with me he can't see through lead and kryptonite to destroy him dang it's almost too bad that he did that interview and, and like gave up so much information about himself in the interview because now this guy knows and can use it against him <laughs> self-driving car <laughs> creating a roadblock what is that a missile on the back of that truck Oh man, all part of the plan. <laughs> I did it. I, I don't trust. <laughs> Second one to sixty-seven, and a third one to one hundred seventeen. What about the fourth one? What? 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 The third one was supposed to be eleven, and the fourth one seven. 
Oh no. I mean, maybe it's a good thing he messed it up. I don't know what that means that he messed up the coordinates. Oh, they're gonna do it again. How did they manage to get this truck with a huge, with a house on the back in such a short amount of time? This must have been their plan B. Oh, is that the, is that the Hoover Dam? Oh, it looks like it. I've been there a couple of times, so I'm like, it kind of looks like the Hoover Dam. I'm not sure if it is, though. People break into a museum in the dead of night, kill two people, and what do they take? A worthless piece of meteorite. Take charge. Let people know who you are. Well, I wasn't a boy 10 years ago. Ooh, what is that noise? Oh my gosh, that scared me. I thought it was like a smoke alarm going off in my house. It's a poison gas. We released two thousands of air ducts in the city. Effectively annihilating half the population of Metropolis. Oh, no one noticed him just jump out the window? That was a cool shot. Everyone stand back, please stand back. It's all right, nothing to get worried about. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Is that how a warped brain like yours gets its kicks? By planning the death of innocent people? By causing the death of innocent people. Oh, the San Andreas Fault, maybe you've heard it. Line is unstable and shifting, which is why you get earthquakes in California from time to time. 500 megaton bomb planted at just the proper point. Destroy most of California. The West Coast as we know it would fall into the sea. Oh, and then he'd have all oceanfront property. Oh my God. Sick, twisted dreamer. Your plan couldn't possibly work. Wow, what a plan. It's happening, Superman. Where's the rocket now? It's going like a bat over the Grand Canyon. Stop the other one. The other one? Well, I, on the other hand, could stop them with my detonator. Where is it? <gasps> Where's a detonator? Oh, man, this feels like a trick. He's going to do something. You diseased maniac. Do you really think you could hide it from me? He's got something else up his sleeve. This guy. <gasps> is that kryptonite? Uh, I told you. It's kryptonite. Oh! I've spared no expense to make you feel right at home. So what does it do to him exactly? Does it like take away his powers or does it just make him really weak? <gasps> yeah, it looks like it's completely like debilitating him. <sighs> Can he not take it off? Can he, from around his neck? Come on, man! Dang, he, he's really powerless to that stuff. She seems really guilty right now though, doesn't she? Just like her body language and her face is telling me that she feels guilty about this. She feels bad, maybe she's gonna help him. I think she's gonna help him! Please help me to save him! If I help you, you promise to save my mother first? Oh, I promise. I promise. Wow, that's wild. Wait a minute, what the hell? Um, excuse me? Jesus. He's like incapacitated over here. And she just goes to give him a kiss? Why did, why did you kiss me first? I didn't think you'd let me later. Bitch, what the fuck? Now he's got to go stop those missiles. Oh my gosh. I feel like that missile is flying like really low, isn't it? Oh, he knows. He's like, damn. The other one blew up? No way. No way, no way, no way. 
I used to live in California and I actually experienced an earthquake. It was when the uh, Napa earthquake hit. Earthquakes are very scary, but this is like a huge, <laughs> this is a huge event. That would be terrifying. What? Did he just push all of the earth that caved in? He was just pushed, pushed it all back up. Is that what he just did? Oh my God. No, 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 no way. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, he just used his body to connect the track. Oh my gosh, that is wild. Oh no, now the dam's breaking open. Oh, why are you up there, dude? He's up there trying to take pictures. Oh my God. Here, son. Oh my god, how is he gonna he can't fix that? How's he he can't put that back together? Dang, and she just ran out of fuel. Oh man, that sucks. Whoa! I wanna get out of the car. Oh my god, that is freaking scary. Is this plan here to just dump a bunch of rocks down there so it doesn't hit that little town? They totally used a model, like a miniature model for this, huh? Wow, that actually worked. <laughs> he took a, a, a good deep breath and sigh of relief. Now he's gotta go save her again, geez. Damsel in distress. Jeez, just get like buried alive in there. Aww. He really liked her. He should be doing CPR right now. Superman don't know CPR. <laughs> oh man, he's uh, upset it looks like. Thanks, Captain Obvious. All those things I can do, all those powers, and I couldn't even save him. I, th I think he feels helpless again like he did when his dad died. What? 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 reverse time did he just reverse time hi don't bother i think it's dead the problem with men is steel there's never one around when you want one you know what happened to me while you were off flying around quake i had this gas station blow up beside my car i'm sorry about that lois but i've been kind of busy for a while there's something I have to do. I'll see you later. Wow. So he just reversed time to go back and help her. What? I didn't know he could do that. That is so cool. Let me tell you something, Miss Ling. I think he really cares about you. You think? Superman cares about everybody, Jimmy. But uh, who knows someday, you know, if he's lucky. She said, who knows someday if he's lucky? If he's lucky, you mean if she's lucky, <laughs> she'd be lucky to, to have him. I think these two men should be safe here with you now so they can get a fair trial. Who is it, Superman? Lex Luthor, I hereby serve notice. He's serving notice to you. Will you shut up? <laughs> We're all part of the same team. Night. We're all part of the same team. Good night. <laughs> I love that. I 
love him flying around. It's my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> Just seeing him flying around so gracefully. I really enjoyed this movie, you guys. I wasn't sure how much I was gonna like this. Going into it, knowing it was a 70s movie, I know that, you know, special effects and CGI weren't a thing in the 70s, so I was expecting some of those practical effects that we saw. I loved seeing Superman and him, like, you know, flying through the air. He was, he flew through the air so gracefully, and I really enjoyed that. I loved those practical effects, but their use of, like, miniatures, the miniature models that they used. I think for Krypton, they used like some kind of miniature model and also for the dam when the dam broke loose and all the rocks were falling down, it looked like they probably used like a little miniature model for that as well. But I thought that that was really cool. I enjoyed those effects. I also really enjoyed the music. I saw that the music was done by John Williams and I love John Williams. He does, he's such amazing music and he did the music for Star Wars as well. And he, I, I feel like he's just known for doing Doing epic music so I thought that it was awesome that he did the music for Superman. I loved Superman, Clark Kent, both of his characters really I, I really enjoyed. You could tell uh, there was a noticeable difference between Superman and Clark Kent like he plays the two characters very well. His disguise is so good that he that he was able to trick so many people that they like Lois she didn't even realize that Clark Kent was Superman which I thought was wild um even you know superman's posture the way he talked was totally different between superman and clark kent you know when he was clark kent he was kind of more hunched over and you know had you know his glasses on and talked kind of kind of nerdier you know he had kind of a nerdy way of talking and then when he was superman he was like you know, chest out, back straight, and, you know, glasses off, and he had a more kind of confident way of talking and projecting his voice. So he had a, a very different vibe. So I guess I can understand how Lois wasn't able to pick up on Clark being Superman. I did think it was kind of messed up though how googly eyed she was over Superman because when Superman was, you know, Clark, when he was playing, you know, his uh, as Clark Kent, he was trying to get a date with Lois and trying to get her attention and she just wouldn't give him the time of day. She treated him like he was a doormat. And when she was talking to Superman, she even said, oh, Clark, he's nothing to me. And I thought that that was kind of sad. I, I feel like if I were Superman and heard someone say that to me, like, oh, Clark, he's nothing to me, because that's that's also him, you know, that's an extension of himself. That's his disguise. So I thought that was kind of sad that she said that Clark was like nothing to her, but here she was googly-eyed over Superman. I don't know, I thought it was kind of shallow. I, I wasn't a huge fan of Lois, to be honest. Not, not a super huge fan of Lois. I just felt like she kept being put into these situations where she had to be saved by Superman. Um, I thought it was pretty wild that he like, turned back time so he could go back in time and save Lois from dying, in, in, from falling into that crack. So that was pretty wild. I had no idea that Superman could do that. I also had no idea that he had x-ray vision. So that was a pretty cool discovery. I also wasn't a huge fan of Miss Tessmacher, I think her name was. And she was one of Lex Luthor's Henchman, I did not like how when Superman was basically incapacitated and like in and out of consciousness with this kryptonite necklace on, she took she took advantage of that. She took advantage of the moment and gave him a kiss. And she even he said like, you know, why did you do that? And she said, well, because other otherwise you wouldn't have let me kiss you. And I just thought that that was really, really cringy and inappropriate. You know, if the roles were reversed and it, anybody would have probably been up in arms about that and, and said that that was inappropriate. So I thought it was, it was super cringy that she kissed him when he was like out of it. I really like like Superman though. He just seems like such a cool dude. He seems he seems like he really wants to help and save people and it seems like he really cares about, you know, the planet and people on the planet and he wants to make it a safer place for everybody and I really admire that. I admire that a lot about Superman. Overall, I really enjoyed this movie. I am looking forward to watching more Superman movies in the future. I really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I would appreciate your support a ton. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Until next time. Dee Dee.